I guess just that I'd share some more thoughts as I'm studying original sin, the sin nature, imputed sin, all that good stuff. <laughs> Not really good, actually, I guess. That sin isn't good, but um, to refute, you know, the Pelagians, people who deny original sin. Uh, so this is Mike Vissario's website again, and one thing that I see that he says and others have said is that sin is the transgression of the law. And that's true. Sin is the transgression of the law. That is what we'd call an act of sin. When someone transgresses the law, they're committing an act of sin. But that, however, does not deny that there is a state of sin in which all men are born. Okay. Um, you know, when we're talking about original sin or an, an inherited sinful nature, this is what men will say sometimes. They'll say sin is a transgression of the law, but that doesn't deny that, that, that there's a state of sin as well. That's like me saying that, uh, that shirt is red. Okay. That shirt is red. And then later on, I say that shirt is cotton. And then somebody's like, hold on, wait a minute, I thought you said that shirt was red. And I'm like, yeah, it is red, but it's cotton too. Okay, and they're like, no, no, you can't do that because, you know, you said the, sin is, or the shirt is red. or whatever. It's like, okay, just because, you know, we say one thing, it, it doesn't mean that, it, that that's the only, it doesn't mean that there's, there are only acts of sin and there, and there is no such thing as a state of sin. Because the Bible teaches that there is a such thing as a state of sin, which all men are born. And, uh, you know, a great verse to show that is Psalm 51.5, when David says that he was shapen in iniquity, okay? Um, but these people who deny that, they'll say that he was talking about his mother was an adulteress or something like that. It doesn't work. It doesn't work with the context of the passage. It's a dishonest interpretation, completely dishonest, Okay. Um, and so they think that they can pull an over on somebody by saying, well, this says this in the, in the Hebrew or whatever. It still doesn't work. It doesn't work in the context of the passage. So it's a dishonest interpretation and, uh, you start to see that. So there's a problem there. So, so yes, sin is the transgression of the law, but there is also a state of sin. And I've got this, uh, started this page on the, uh, form the state of sin and maybe all these verses aren't good for it but you know we got Psalm 51 5 um, you know for as by one man's disobedience many were made sinners you know how were many made sinners if this is only talking about an act of sin but anyways that's just some more thoughts so God bless